What's up everyone? This is just a quick update video. Hey Disco, you want to come help with the video? What do you say? You get up and come help me? Apparently not. Just a quick update. Uh, you guys need to be watching this tomorrow, so I didn't post anything the last two days. So for me, I didn't post anything yesterday nor today. I invested a lot of time today in a video that did not turn out at all and I wasted a whole day of filming because I counted on something that let me down. I bought myself a brand new camera, the Canon G7X Mark II, aka one of the most popular vlogging cameras. Well, I recorded some video last night and it came out so beautiful. It captured such good images and oh, it was beautiful. Because like right now, if you look around me, it's all grainy. The iPhone captures really crappy in low light. This thing was unbelievable. And the video I captured today was pretty damn good. Then I got in the van tonight to edit a video and guess what? The worst audio in the world. Okay, maybe not in the world, but you get it. I just figured that when a camera is selling for $899 Canadian, that this thing should at least capture equivalent audio that I'm getting on my cellular phone. Think about it. My smartphone captures 10 times better audio than this thing could ever dream of. Ever. And I tried this in multiple different areas, multiple different surroundings, including putting like my blankets and blankets and stuff around me to like kind of absorb some of the echo. It was horrible. You know, I guess me being a DJ, I was a little picky. And you got to remember, everybody's voice sounds different on different microphones. So this one just was not for me. I even threw the video clips into my editing software and see if I could EQ some of the sound out. And then I just sat there and thought, I shouldn't have to EQ the sound and make it that much better. You know, EQing it a little bit maybe in post, but it was ridiculous. It was like I was just trying to salvage audio out of beautiful footage because the footage was, it was nice and I was so pumped about it. And you know, I was so excited for the video for today and I was like, ah, oh, I got so much rad footage and it was beautiful and cinematic. It was awesome. Stupid freaking microphone. So, hey, listen, listen here, guys. If you're watching this Canon, get a grip, guys. When you're like the number one vlogging camera, I suggest you put a better one on here and maybe put it in the front. So when we're pointed right at us, we're getting direct sound, not up top, not with, uh, here's what I think the problem is. I think when you're speaking into the microphone, cause when it's, the microphone's on top, but when the front facing thing is up, you're speaking into that piece of glass, which is bouncing the audio back into the microphone. It sucked big time. But then I, I learned a lesson. I sat there cause I want to buy a real camera. Like, something told me not to buy this when I went to go buy it, but I've been having some problems with my iPhone. Like, I'll be in the middle of a clip and my phone will ring. There goes that whole clip and it, me it messes it up. Big time. And on, t on days when I have emails and stuff to send out, or I'm checking things online or messaging comments back and I'm on my phone, here's the problem. <laughs> It all uses my phone battery. So I've been out and filming and all of a sudden my battery goes, Dude, you got 10% battery left, which means I got to stop my filming, go back and allow my phone to charge for half an hour, hour, just so I can go back out and film. It's really been highly annoying and has made some filming days incredibly long. So I figured, you know what? It's time to get yourself a new and real camera. Failure. This is turning out to be a bit of a talk on techie camera stuff, but whatever. Well, I'll be giving you an update. At least you guys are getting a video, right? And you guys get to see Disco, including even there's not gonna... Hey. Yeah. <laughs> there's no waking him up. But something inside of me said I should just hold out, wait, and buy the camera that I want. The camera I want is the Canon 80D, which is like a semi-pro camera. 
you know it's not a professional camera but it's close and the reason why I wanted that camera is because what I see coming out of my own eyes and like in my head is not what my iPhone captures sometimes and having a camera where I have the chance of putting on a different lens and capturing things more like I'm actually seeing does that make sense like I guess the more creative and the more into things I'm getting I'm seeing things that I just can't produce on this phone so that's why I wanted the other one also I wanted the other one oh he moves <laughs> I also wanted the other one because you can mount a good quality professional microphone on the top a shotgun mic which will capture beautiful audio every time and me being a DJ that is a big thing you know if I can talk and capture great vocal audio I'd be so excited so that's why I wanted the ADD so this piece of crap just pissed me off and I wish I wouldn't have bought it because one I lost a whole day and two now I got to put away another hour or so out of my day tomorrow which is going to cut into a lot just to return it and deal with all that ruckus stuff which really sucks. So it looks like I'm going to continue with the iPhone for a while because I can't afford to pick up the ADD. Um, they have a really good sale on one right now for an open box one at Best Buy, which open box is just when somebody looks at it in the store, opens it, doesn't like it, and just says no thank you. So, or it could be a return, I don't even know. But anyway, you can get an open box one for like 1450 bucks, including taxes. Plus add a $400 microphone to the package and I'm set up and ready to go. I just can't afford to flip the, you know, $1,800 or if it's not an open box one, $2,500 for a camera. I'm pouring everything I can into my debt right now, but I have been saving for this. I've been keeping all of my money from Patreon and my YouTube stuff and I'm trying to compile it all together. Because that's the goal I wanted for my channel is to have my channel feed itself. Like I don't want to take any of my DJ money and put it into my YouTube stuff. My DJ money is for my life, my eating, living, and paying my bills and and paying my debt. And like I always said at the beginning of this channel, what I wanted to do with all the money that came in from the channel, from stickers, shirts, and all those little tiny small revenue things that I'm making, is to put it into growing the channel you know, to make things better for everybody and hopefully kind of slowly break myself out of here and start traveling and produce better stuff for you. But that Canon 80D also opens up more opportunities for me than this camera will or the or my cell phone that I'm filming on. Because if I start traveling, then I can start taking video gigs that I find on Craigslist, whether it be filming a wedding or doing something like that or just doing like you know going into a small town and saying hey guys look you know I I can do you out guys up a quick promo video for a hundred dollars while I'm here and most of those guys are like yeah cool right and I can make little bits of money along the way doing like little coffee shop things or doing like things for businesses or whatever and that's where the professional or semi-professional camera will allow me to take on those opportunities because if I talk and pitch that idea to somebody then I show up there with my iPhone 7 they're gonna be like uh, yeah, buddy, you gotta go. So it looks like I'm back to saving. Maybe in another few months I'll be able to pick one up, but... <sighs> Canon G7X, you disappointed me in a very big way. On a positive note, though, um, we had a pretty good influx of stickers in the first run. The stickers have already been shipped out. So I'm excited that you guys are going to plaster them anywhere. So if anybody wants stickers, hold on, let me grab a stack here. This is like the, it's like a raw video, this one. Oh, look who's up. Hi, buddy. Want to say hi to YouTube? Let's say hi to all your weirdo friends. <laughs> all right. So if you guys haven't picked yourself up a sticker, here they are. Hold on. They're pretty badass. Yeah. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Somebody's running and just yapping away to themselves. Anyway, guys, you guys can get your stickers. The links are down below. They're $5 Canadian a piece. Or you guys can get a four pack of them for $15 Canadian. That includes all the shipping and everything else. And no matter where you are on the planet, I'll ship it to you guys at that price. Um, I've even sent stickers out to Finland and out to the UK and Germany. And just so you guys know, you know, I don't mind taking that little bit of extra off of it. Just give me, the, just send the 15 bucks or five bucks, whatever. But shipping to the to anything internationally, internationally would be anything outside of Canada and the U.S. is uh, two dollars and fifty cents Canadian for me. The rest of the shipping is like a buck twenty Canadian to the U.S. or a dollar to Canada. But uh, shipping overseas and shipping anywhere internationally is a little bit extra. So if you guys want to throw in a bit extra, I'm cool with that. If not, man, don't worry about it. I'm just super pumped that you guys want a sticker. You guys will get it either way, so that's pretty rad. But it was nice to have a little influx of stickers, which was super cool to watch my PayPal just digging in, you know, $5 here and there. It was so awesome. And some of the notes you guys sent me was just like heartwarming. Oh, on that note, hold on a sec. Michelle Phillips. Michelle Phillips, can you see that? Michelle Phillips, see that? Michelle Phillips, you sent me $5. Your sticker is inside of this envelope, which is slowly getting scrunched. I'll have to put it in a new one. Oh, check out the stamp I put in the back. Woo! Anyway, guys, Michelle Phillips, if you're out there, could you please check your email, check your junk mailbox as well, just in case it went in there. You forgot to send me your address, so it's hard to send you a sticker if I don't know where to send it. Hey, Disco, you want to take this to Michelle? Hey, you want to take it to Michelle? Here, take that to Michelle. Never mind, he'll find you. Or not. <laughs> That's my boy, hey? That's my boy. Some more updates for you. I was at my storage locker today. That was on camera, which is useless. I was at my storage locker today. I spent a few hours and moved myself from my locker into a smaller one. Super cool, super excited about that. Now I'm spending a little bit less on the locker, not much less, but still, I'm like, my locker cost is down over 50% from the first locker that I was in. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this yet. Um, I ended up selling some stereo and DJ equipment stuff I had that... I ended up selling some stereo equipment that I had because I was looking at my calendar. I'm like, yeah, God, that equipment's not going out for the next year. He's funny. For like the next year in book shows anyway. So I'm like, you know what, man? I'm just going to sell it. So I sold some gear. I made $2,000 from the gear. I literally grabbed that money, walked right down to one of my places that I owe my debt to, threw it down there and said, here, put this towards my bill. And I was so excited. That takes that one bill I had and brings it down to like $2,500. That one's just about out, and as soon as that one's gone, I only have one more bill left. One more bill for eight grand after that one's gone. And I'm done, completely debt free. <laughs> yes! So excited. I miss all of you when I don't get a chance to post a video. I seriously do, like, I'm, I remember those two weeks I posted every single day, it was so fulfilling. It was honestly really like, it was just, it was great and it was a lot of fun. But lately you got life things that are catching up and I had a major show cancel on me. Not really major, major, but enough that it really kind of put a, put a big kick in the, you know, you know what's for my February um, budget. So I had to spend some time and, you know, see if I can pull off another gig or so and, you know, make up that money, at least some of it anyway. And I did, so, but all that stuff just takes time and takes me away from doing this stuff. But, you know, you got to make money, you got to pay the bills. And I know that grinding away here is going to help me in the future with making money here. But um, sometimes you just got to, like, take a day off and just, like, focus on the old life instead of this life here. This life here is what I want to do forever, what I want to do in the future but before I can break out of the old life, I gotta pay the old life off first. So 
you got to do what you got to do, right? But I miss you guys like crazy when things get caught up and I just get too busy and just... I seriously, honestly don't function well if I don't have something to say to you. I seriously, it's murder. And there's been days I just wanted to film those days, but I don't want to have my vlogs full of like me running around here, me going there, me on the phone, me emailing here. They're not <laughs> very exciting. So, but I really seriously, honestly miss posting to you guys when I don't post and there's just something fulfilling about it. It's something that is fulfilling. Love it. On that note, I have some really cool project ideas coming up. Uh, oh, and I just bought Disco a GoPro harness for his back. <laughs> yes, it came in yesterday. Um, I have a cool project that I have an idea for. It's going to be pretty sweet. I hope it turns out as good as I see it in here, but it's going to be pretty cool. But anyway, um, we got some really awesome projects coming up. And like they're cool, like they actually planned out pretty cool little, I mean they're not planned out. The concept is there, the rest of it I just let organically happen. What I say and what I do and what I film, it just organically happens. The topic, that's already put together. Everything in my vlogs are always like that, they're just organic. Whatever happens, happens man. I turn on my camera, whatever happens comes out of my mouth, just kind of comes out. You kind of have to do it like that. If you plan it, it's not real. You just fake. It's just, you just blah, 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 blah. It's like you're scripting something. <laughs> Sucks when you do that. And you can tell when people do that, you know? Like, oh, this guy's just pushing out a video. Look, this guy's trying to drag content out of his Wahoo. Is that your Wahoo? Is that a thing? Hey, Disco, you got a Wahoo? <laughs> Disco. Hey. You got a Wahoo? Anyway, <laughs> but if there's any van life content that you guys would like to see on this channel besides the stuff that I'm creating, you know, like maybe some like some questions or some things that you guys would really like to know about living in the van. The only reason why I ask you this question is that nobody ever asks me van life related questions. I'm a van life channel and nobody ever asks me van life related questions. So if you got any questions about my lifestyle in the van, let me know and I'll make a video on it if I think it's video worthy. If, if not, if anything, I'll throw that into a Q&A. And i um, still been pondering about doing like a live Q&A. I think it's coming guys, it's coming. I think that's all we got for this update. You know, I just, I felt bad not being able to give you guys the video that I recorded today. And I wanted to catch you up with some things that have been going on with us and maybe let you guys spend some time with Disco and I'm going to wake his ass up before we finish this video. Hey! Disco! Disco! Help me! Hey! Woohoo! Hi, buddy! <laughs> your tongue's hanging out, bro. Hey, your tongue's hanging out. He's like, shut up, Dad. Where you going, buddy? Your tongue's hanging out. Hey! Uh, he's going to look for his ball. Your ball's not in there, bro. It's not in there. Hey, your ball's not in there, bro. See, he doesn't care about me. He just wants his ball. Hey! Let me say hi to everybody on YouTube, bro. Let's go, come here. Come here, bud. Let's say bye to everybody. Hey, come here. Come here. Hi. You wanna say bye to everybody? Say bye, everybody. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, even though you slept the whole time. Eh? All right, you guys. I don't know what time it is now. Hold on. What am I kidding? It's 9.09 .09 p.m. So I'm going to edit this video. Can you really edit something that's really not editable? <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to find out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you weren't too bored with this quick little update video. Disco's got an itch. You all right there, homie? You want me to get it? Come here. Come here, buddy. I'll get your itch. Come here. Come here, bro. Whoa. Is that the spot? Did I get it? Did I get it? 
Okay. Is that it? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Don't stop being weird ever. Is that a bit demanding? Just, if you don't want to be weird, guys, just please don't be normal. Normal just sucks.